You getting ideas for your uh, rally stuff? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Garage Garage. Garage Garage. What do we got going on, Brad? Uh, we had so much fun the last day we were working on this thing that now we got to actually make it right. Look, no windshield, no cracks. Getting it replaced right now. Oh, that's just too nice. Yeah. I've never seen you be so delicate with something. Seriously, I don't want it to break up my wallet. So, wow. what do you want to do today? Today, I'm going to finish all the exhaust leaks that we had that we had no boost problems with. I forgot to put the O2 in. That was a pretty big leak. I'm going to get us a boost gauge so that we actually can verify what we might not have or have. If we have boost or not. So, we're going to put an oil pump back here for this with yeah. an oil tank. I'm going to work on that so it has its own oiling system. And then hopefully stay out of your way because yeah. you're going to do the bitching. Yeah, I'm going to work on a protective spot for this. So, I think those pads are a little bit small. So, I might redo those and then build some kind of sick bash bar to keep us uh, from destroying this entire thing we just built. That's going to take me probably a fair bit of the day. I want to leave. Uh, I do now. too. I After just want to see we it. Did this? I do not want to put a yeah. back end on it. It looks so cool. It looks really, really so. Cool. We're just gonna make something protective back there, and then we'll see where it goes from there. I'll start in the back. You start in the front. We'll meet in the middle. Meet in the middle. All right. Let's get her done. We got our cooler with our fan. We got our oil tank. Our oil's fed into our turbo via the oil pump. So we have to get an adapter to go to here. It's basically gonna pump the oil in here. It drains down into the tank. We'll be putting probably about half of a gallon of oil in here. Then the pump pulls it out. It's gonna go through the cooler and back into the turbo. Simple. Bad daddy, what's up bud? What up? What's going on? Yeah, we got our oil tank mounted. Yep. Got our oil cooler mounted. That's sick. Got our oil pump mounted. And then right now I'm working on our oil return line. That's gonna be so cool. And then that's it. That's, we're done with oil. We can fill the tank up, test the pump, make sure we got oil in it. We fixed a few exhaust things that we had going on like the missing O2 sensor and a broken stud. So I don't believe we were really actually getting full exhaust pressure. Right, I don't here. either. I just did this bash bar sort of deal. I still wanna do some more, just like Haswell did, up into here, brace yeah. this, and then we'll make a jack point. And I think we'll call it at that for the bash bar setup, except for I'm gonna make a crumple zone here, bash bash bars. Bash, bash. So, cause we're gonna hit it, but I'd like to try and have a little bit of a crumple zone. So I'll take like three eighths and just kind of run this line out here to keep it for the fenders and everything else. So if it does hit, It'll take a little bit and we can cut that stuff off. It's not going to destroy the whole bash bar. It's looking cool, man. I'm still stoked about it. Need more energy. Good morning. Welcome to Grudge Grudge. Now that we've got like this side looking somewhat nice, we've got to kind of replicate the rest of the way. Yeah. So I'm going to start on my side. If you guys anything know about BMWs, there's more electrical in this car than it's ever worth. So we're gonna probably lose about 40 pounds of electrical. We do got some seats left over from our Sims. So we're gonna rob some seats and put them in there. Uh, we did get a good Walbrew 244 fuel pump. So we're gonna drop that in the tank. And I got some fittings to replace in the front because we had more vacuum leaks than <laughs> most Hoosier vacuums. Brad's gotta dress that stuff up. On my end, I gotta finish the tube rear. I'm gonna make a jack point so we don't have to get underneath the car and risk hitting the turbo. And I might get to a trunk and lights and who knows. Oh, you got a boost gauge too. Dude. Yeah. Well, we'll call this the vacuum gauge right now because, <laughs> because we don't know if we're making any boost. But we'll be able to tell today. If today we actually... we're gonna have a boost gauge in there. We are going to see if we can replicate pressure. Yeah, so we got a lot to do. We're gonna meet in the middle at the end. Get this thing out yeah. of the way. Get to work. All right. these fragile European cars. You gotta be super careful you don't break anything, okay? Because you might have to reuse it later on in life, okay? 
Ugh. See that spark? Air conditioning condenser. Little bit of an update, put a jack point on, stiffened up some stuff in the rear, tied these babies in. I haven't put them on yet, but that's gonna be sort of a, a little barrier in between the bash bar. And Brad has ripped everything out of the car. Yeah, now my goal is to get these electronics wired up with the fuel pump. And then I think I'm just gonna do the same thing we've done to all our cars with switches and a button. Get yeah. rid of the key. Cool with that. So I'm at a point now where I'm gonna move on. We're gonna try and make, possibly make this a rear end. We've been talking back and forth of what we wanna do. Brad ordered this trunk. What, what, you got it on eBay or something yeah. too? This is a hundred dollar eBay trunk. hundred bucks. I didn't know it was the wrong one. And <laughs> it's all right. This is a 318. This is a 325 trunk. They're just a little bit different. We're just gonna try and notch it into it and see what it looks like, if we wanna use it or not. You got a lot of wiring still. But I got the dash out, and now I'm gonna make some panels for the dash, so when we put it back together, it'll actually look like a race car. When I said dress up interior. What'd you think I was gonna I put? didn't. I didn't know what, what extent you were gonna go to, man. Dude, I gotta go in and Pretty vacuum good. all the crap out now. Before I even start, it looks nasty. Yeah, I would everywhere. just get that out so you can breathe. I'm gonna start it on this trunk deal while he's still wiring and we'll see what we like. Is that a new fin for your surfboard you're cutting out? Yeah, bro. <laughs> That's the big wave surfboard fin. So like when you're out there and it's like triple overhead and you think you're gonna get crushed, you gotta run the big dog, you know? Morning, Brad. Good morning. <laughs> what was Whoa. that? What was that? Brad's been here this morning cleaning stuff up, trying to get this thing to run again because mm -hmm. I took about 50 pounds of wire out that I don't know what to do. <laughs> Every wire is out of the car. Brad made his own harness. Yeah, I hung these on the back. Not a huge fan. I might redesign that or do something different. We got quite a bit to do. I have to leave. That's why it's on the dock. Brad's got to take over for a little bit. I'll be back out later to help because we have obviously a lot of fab work to do. We're gonna manage. Cut the Brad doing stuff. As for switches hooked up, how are we looking in, in that end? Okay, so this is our ignition. This is fuel pump, which will also be turning on the fans and the oil pump in the rear. I haven't wired that up, but it does turn the fuel pump on right now. This is nitrous, which we were supposed to get the bottle today. And then this is our extra, which we haven't determined what we want to do, but will be available for whatever. And then this is start. And we're all hooked up. Yeah. So we moved back inside. I took off the back end, I didn't like it. Found some of the other tools that I wanted to use. What I wanna do now is work on the front end. We got new fenders. Where'd you get those? eBay, $100 for two. Can you believe that? Yes. Well, I mean, we really did buy, <laughs> we really did buy a whole car for $300, so we kinda of got so ripped this off. Sucks, yeah. yeah. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. oh man. Can you fix that? Yeah, I can fix that. Okay. This is not what this is intended for. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. You getting ideas for your uh, rally stuff? Oh yeah, definitely. All right, cool. Glad we can help. Ken <laughs> <laughs> thinks we go yeah, back first gear. That's what my kind of idea. I just want to say Brad explaining shit car engineering to Ken is my new favorite thing <laughs> of all time. We put weight in this car and it won't spin. It doesn't spin now. <laughs> but you have all this boost. <laughs> We so far have only seen vacuums. <laughs> <laughs> we just keep adding power adders until it works. All right, my work here is done. <laughs> uh, so Ken stopped by for some art and engineering advice. He obviously digs it, you know, he thinks it's amazing. So um, I'm gonna get back to work on the fenders. What's up, Kanan? Nothing, just enjoying this, uh, this new shit car. 
Don't ever call this shit crime. <laughs> it's, okay? it's not even close. Yeah, don't even ever. What are you, seriously though, what are you guys doing to this? Oh, just stealing a couple parts from it? Yeah, just the bumper and the lights. Possibly the hood. And then we're gonna cut the body off of this one? We'll do whatever we want to this thing. We need a second shark card. I'm still on that. Shark card XL. Yeah. Is that a six cylinder? Yes. A six cylinder? It runs great. Oh, let's chop the body off of this bad boy. Brad and I bought this for 300 bucks. This lady was like, get this out of my sight. 300 bucks. Well, you already took the taillights. We got a trunk full of parts, too. <laughs> Is that a, like a chef outfit? I have no it idea. Better be a ship out there. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you guys buy this car? <laughs> All right, well, you guys have fun grinding. Yeah. All right, Kanan, what are you doing? I'm gonna jack this thing up and steal the front bumper. We need the headlights, corner lights, bumper. All right, so we've put up together all these mix match parts that we got from the donor car, that we got from eBay. It's starting to look pretty good. You know what, this looks like almost everybody's drift car anyway. So I think it looks all right. And uh, Brad did really good on the interior stuff here. He's just got a little bit more wiring stuff to do to clean that all up. But uh, I'm gonna go home because I'm tired of it. I'm glad the Ken's proud of it, but that's a wrap! Functionally, it looks like it works. 